It's important to keep in mind that not all laptops are created equal if you're an engineering student or soon will be. An inexpensive, underpowered Chromebook can be used by many students for word processing and online browsing. That's probably not the case, though, if you work in a STEM sector, in which case you should look for a laptop or tablet that offers sufficient power at a fair price. After all, engineering students utilize resource-intensive apps like CAD and MATLAB, which necessitate a more powerful laptop to function properly. When working with a frequently constrained student budget, it's crucial to weigh value versus performance. A more affordable notebook or Chromebook won't necessarily suit the bill. Let's start, but first subscribe to our channel. Number 5. HP Spectre X360 Beyond the standard 2-in-1 laptop, the HP Spectre X360 gives students a premium gadget. It has a magnificent multi-touch display, a gorgeous chassis, and a wonderful typing experience. The X360 lacks a discrete GPU option despite having potent Intel i5-7 processors and up to 8GB of RAM, which can be a drawback for some engineering students. Additionally, we discovered sensitivity concerns with the trackpad that keep this from being an excellent device. The multi-touch OLED, 2-in-1 form factor, and reliable battery life of 8-plus hours would be appreciated by engineering students who are on the go or working in a lab. When everything is put together, you have a machine at home capable of light design work that you may use after a full day of lectures. Number 4. Asus ROG Strix SCAR G834 GUI The Asus ROG Strix SCAR G834 GUI, which was just introduced for 2023, has a staggering array of specifications that promise to catapult it to the top of wishlists for both gamers and engineering students. Although designed with gamers in mind, the G834 GI is capable of handling tasks that are CPU and GPU intensive, such as those encountered in engineering schools. The 13th generation Intel Core i9-13980HX processor and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 laptop GPU are both featured in the G834 GI. The maximum amount of RAM is 64GB of ddr 54800 mAh memory and the system includes 2TB of PCI 4X4 setup in RAID 0. You also receive a massive 18-inch QHD plus 1610-2560x1600-WQXGA Dolby Vision HDR screen with 240Hz frame rate, 100% DCI P3 colored gamut, and Pantone validation as if that weren't enough. You may build up a system to play video games late into the night by adding the 4 speakers Dolby Atmos sound system. The connectivity of the Asus ROG Strix SCAR G834 GI may be considered insufficient by students. There is only one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port and one Thunderbolt 4 port. It features HEMI 2.1 FRL, 2.5 G LAN, 2X USB 3.2 Gen 2 type of connectors, and a 3.5mm combo audio jack. The mobility is the price you pay for the excellent viewing experience and speed. When carrying this monster machine around campus, which weighs 6.83 olbs for the laptop and about 2.5 olbs for the 330 gb power brick, the final weight is over 9 olbs. It won't be a problem if you leave it at your desk, but other people could find it cumbersome to carry from class to class. Number 3. MacBook Air M2 Not only is the Apple MacBook Air M2 one of the best laptops the company has ever produced. The greatest laptop for engineering students is this one. Apple's own chip poses considerable competition in the market for light laptops, even though it may not contain a potent AI-assisted GPU. This is a fantastic accomplishment. A tiny and light notebook that gives tremendous performance while giving incredible battery life thanks to the groundbreaking ARM-based Apple M2 CPU, an improvement from the previous M1 chip that powers the new MacBook Air. Whether we were experimenting with GarageBand or editing 4K home videos in a movie during our time with the MacBook Air, the notebook delivered outstanding performance. This laptop can easily last more than 11 hours on a single charge, making it convenient to use both indoors and outside of the office. With its stunning screen and newly enhanced keyboard, you may contentedly work for hours. Number 2. HP Victus 15 It might be promoted as a laptop for gamers. Even yet, the HP Victus 15 is a good option for any engineering student who will be running graphically intensive programs due to its straightforward appearance. Free from the garish, gamer aesthetic of many powerful laptops and RTX-equipped models. It is also surprisingly affordable for a laptop with a discrete GPU, which will appeal to any aspiring engineer on a tight budget. Its testing results were below those of rival gaming laptops in our benchmark tests, but not by a significant amount, which is excellent news. 
The fact that it has a dual fan system and a sizable air vent at the bottom shows us that it takes air circulation seriously. Although this isn't the lightest laptop in the industry, its brilliant 15.6-inch FHD display and generally sturdy build quality allow it to comfortably serve as both a desktop replacement and a tool for on-the-go work. With the chassis partially made of post-consumer recycled plastic and eco-friendly water-based paint, it's also a wonderful option for those who care about the environment. Number 1. The Dell XPS 15 With the addition of Alder Lake processors, faster RAM, and RTX GPUs create the best laptop for engineering students. The XPS 15 keeps the exemplary, timeless look of earlier iterations while providing a generous number of ports for attaching external devices in the lab or on the go. Students will be the envy of their peers as they breeze through homework and style with the combination of a gorgeous screen, increased battery life, a fantastic keyboard, and lots of storage capacity. Here are a few more as a bonus for you. Google Pixelbook Go The Pixelbook Go is more reasonably priced than its predecessor but still has many of the high-end features that came with the original Pixelbook such as an excellent battery life and one of the finest, quietest laptop keyboards we've ever tested. Although it runs Chrome OS rather than Windows 10, and is therefore a more adaptable laptop, you can also install Linux on this device. It has some outstanding hardware for a Chromebook, ensuring that Chrome OS runs smoothly on it and giving it performance comparable to many more costly Windows laptops and MacBooks in typical use. The absence of discrete graphics is an important factor to take into account in this situation because it could make GPU-accelerated software perform more slowly. Microsoft Surface Pro 4 the Surface Laptop 4 is the best Surface device Microsoft has ever made and is a wonderful choice for students wanting to take on a variety of tasks, from design work to content creation. It is available in a wide range of configurations to suit any student. Depending on your desire, you can choose a screen size of 13.5 inches or 15 inches. You can also choose between models with AMD or Intel processors, depending on whether you support Team Red or Team Blue. The Surface Laptop 4 is a generally excellent product, the touchscreen supports the Surface Pen for creative tasks, and the keyboard and trackpad are both roomy and snappy. The 13.5-inch model's Alcantara Fabric Palm Rest hits dirty easily, and the relative lack of hardware ports just one USB-C and one USB-A is our sole significant issue. Dell XPS 17 The Dell XPS 17 2023 is remarkably slim and light for a 17-inch laptop, especially when you take into account the fact that it has potent hardware for the superior performance demanded by engineering students. On the test, it sped through difficult tasks including video encoding and 3D renders. If you're looking for a laptop with a large screen, this is the complete package. On top of everything else, it has a great design, a 17-inch display with FHD Plus and UHD Plus options, and fantastic battery life that will last you the entire day. Although the higher spec versions aren't the cheapest laptops, their cost is reasonable given their capabilities. The 2023 model has a 12th generation Intel processor and an RTX 3050 or 3060 GPU, giving it a quick performance that can handle whatever you throw at it. Which one did you like the most? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching.